Hi folks, welcome to Barb Makes Things. Today I'm going to make a contraption that demonstrates all six simple machines. Barb Makes Things! So we're doing a Rube Goldberg machine this week at camp. Uh, one of our earlier activities is going to be to make a machine that does something really ridiculous. And in the creation of this machine, they're going to be required to use at least two, maybe three, simple machines. Simple machines are inclined plane, wedge, lever, pulley, screw, and did I say wheel and axle? Those are the six, and I think I can get them all. This right here is actually an excellent example of a wedge. These screws having a pointy end here not only act as a screw, but they act as a wedge at the end. So if the material you're screwing into isn't strong enough, it may well split it like a wedge. Hey, and that's why we put little pilot holes in, especially when we're near the edge of the wood, because it keeps the uh, wedge from pushing it out quite so much and splitting it. And there it goes. Okay, I think I want it the other way. <laughs> I did it backwards. I had it right all along. Lever, fulcrum. Now I'm going to make a pulley. So do eyeballing it. Now we will screw this in to this thing. Actually, first I'm going to make bearing holes for the pulley. I should have done that better. Should have clamped something underneath this. Instead, I didn't. And now I have blowout and it's pretty bad and that's gonna be a problem, so I gotta do it again. More lumbar. Fortunately, we have plenty. Let's go with this shorter one. Let's take one of these beat up pieces and use that as my sacrificial wood. Here's a corner. Remember I said corner of the table to your friends? Corner of the table. Friend. What on earth are you doing with that barb, you may ask? Well, I'm going to take this dowel and put it through here. Oh no, they're too small! Ugh. Okay, let's make them bigger. This um, hole being a little bit too tight tells me that I'm definitely gonna need a bigger bit for the center of my pulley. Speed bit, five eighths inch, this will work. Ooh, oh, I blew that out something good. Oh, this is bad. I think I need a whole new one, actually. I think this one was already kind of crummy. Okay. Now I need like sides to go on the top and bottom. They're a little bit bigger. Actually, this might be good. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna use my boba cup. Now I'm gonna cut it on the scroll saw. If I wanted this pulley to stay in the middle, I would probably add some spacers, but I think that what I'll do is I will present this problem to my student on asking them how they would solve it. Little itty bitty cut book. I had to get a very small drill bit. This needs a guide track right here in the middle. Something like this, but not as high. All right, I found this pegboard piece, uh, which I think might just work. Good. 
actually. I'm just gonna hot glue it. Yes. But now I want a wedge to lift this up. My wedge. 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 And I can adjust the angle of my lever by adjusting this wedge. If I made this a little bit lower, it wouldn't go up at the end here. This one seems a little bit of a cheat, but I did use the screw in the screws that I used to hold it together. So it occurs to me, this car likes to fall off of the uh, ramp a lot. It would probably be better if I put the pulley a little further down. Rather than like make a new hole or put it somewhere weirder, I can just rotate this down here. Don't drop. Honestly, that doesn't even need a second hole here. I can make one, but I don't think it needs it. Ah, uh, that looks much better. Bridge. Wheels and axles. Yay. Oh, it's much, much better. Here we have my contraption that demonstrates kind of all six uh, simple machines. Lever, inclined plane, wedge, wheels and axles, pulley, and screws. Ta -da! Yeah. That's my little contraption that uses six simple machines. If you like this video, share it with a friend. If you didn't, share it with an enemy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Make sure to take a look at some of my other builds and how to's. There are a lot of them. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you click the little bell, you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. If you'd like to get videos a little early and support my channel, you can visit my Patreon page. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.